Kitzer Shulchan Aruch, Simen Kuv Ches, Simen 108, Halacha Beis, the second Halacha. This Halacha, this section, is dealing with the storage of the grain for the flour that is used to make matzah and problems that can arise uh, with the storage. I think it, from a his, historical perspective, it also tells us a lot about the living conditions of the Jews of, of the period. Um, okay, let us begin. Chitim shenimsu behin mevuchos o mitzumachos. Wheat, chitim, shenimsu behin, it was found amongst them, mevuchos, the a, uh, grains that were cracked, o, or mitzumachos, grains that were already beginning to sprout. These are forbidden, or at least we suspect that they are, are not good, but hasha'ar mutter, the remainder, those that are not like this, they are permitted. U bevad, and that is provided that she'yivru osen, that you are borer them, you you, you, you sieve them, you go through them, you check through them to make sure that you got all the uh, suspect grains. O, or, you need to check very well, that there is at the very least there, shishim, shishim keneged ha, Ham vuchos veha veham tumachos. You need to check that at the very least that there are 60 against the those that those grains that were cracked or the grains that had already begun to sprout. So the 60 shows that it's majority, not the problem. It's, major, it's a majority, not, not a problem. Uh, and uh, we have the famous rule that if we have 60 against something, and depending on what that thing is, um, it can be what's called bottle. It's as if it's not there. If there's a majority of something, it can out, it outnumbers it so much, and that number that is attached is 60. If it's, if it's 60 against something, then we can deem it as, as if it's not a problem. But anyway, we're not really sure that these things are... Uh, necessarily chametz, but we, we strongly suspect that these things are, are possibly chametz. So that's why we uh, we are uh, careful with them. But if we have 60 against them, then that is acceptable. U, l'chachila yesh l'hadr, and l'chachila there is to, to strive. L'vror gam min uh to remove, to check through and remove also from the wheat, she'achlo mehen achbarim o shishim k'negdan. You should remove, if you can, the wheat that, that the mice ate from, or at the very least there should be 60 against them. Ve'achitim she'bo basfina, and the wheat that came on a ship, a sfina, O, or, Shehayu Menachos Baboros, that were put down in a cellar. A bor is a pit, but here they most likely mean something like a cellar, which were common in the houses of Eastern Europe. Imhain Yeveshos, so if you check, you need to check the wheat that were down there. Imhain Yeveshos, if they are dry, Vakashos, and are firm, hard. And their appearance didn't change. Kasheros, we consider these as kasher. So it's saying that if we are storing them in a place where they can potentially get wet, we have to check them like, on, like they came on a ship or we had them down in a cellar. We need to look through them and if they haven't changed their appearance and they've maintained their integrity, 
Great, they're kosher. If not, then we uh, we we suspect that there's problems. Ve'im hayu menachos ba'aliyah, and if you place them in the aliyah in a, a loft, like above a barn, v'yadu alehim gushamim, and fell upon them, came down upon them gushamim, uh, rain, derech agag by way of the the roof, b'ksas mechamos in a few places. Asuros, those are asur. Those are forbidden. Um, now, the roof that we're talking about is is most likely like the thatched roofs that we see all over Europe. So those, by and large, kept water out, but there were always leaks. You know, as nice a houses as we have today, we still have leaks uh, in 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 our houses. So certainly, they had the same problem there. So if water were to come in a few of the places we had our wheat stored, if water were to drip on a few of the places in which we had the wheat stored, those places that got wet would be us. Or we would suspect that they uh, that wheat had become chametz. Um, we don't necessarily know that, but we strongly suspect that. And we, we take the, the iser, the rule, the halacha against chametz, on Pesach, on Passover, very seriously. So we try to avoid that at all possible, uh, all po- you know, with all, in, in, in all cases. Okay, of all, but, if a little snow fell on them, or 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 a little water in one place, meaning, that it wasn't, A, the snow doesn't, uh, it's cold, so the snow does not um, travel, does not wick through the grain, um, so it, it's not a problem. And the water that falls in one place, it's localized, so we know what to, uh, what, what, what to, be, what to be worried about. We're really worried about the, the, if we really have a uh, leaky roof and it's dripping here and there, and it's hard to tell 100% where uh, the water goes. But if it's really one place we're worried about, then it's not such a problem. But what do we do in that case? Masalich Osen, she has let his top pack behind. We remove those that we have doubts over. So that that snow that had that, that grain that had snow on it, or the you know, the, the little corner of our attic that has a drip and it got wet, we would take off that little bit and then the rest would be fine. So, fine. The Ashar and the, the remainder, the rest, Mutaros, the rest are permitted. Okay, that was that. I hope that was beneficial. Um, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so. Keep learning. Kol Tov Hatzlacha Rabbah.